Well, I hope you all had a good Christmas and I wish you a Happy New Year. And I'm hoping to get this one out before midnight. Uh, I was going to put out a different article, but I found this one uh, from the Daily Telegraph from their science department, uh, the title of which is The Secret Trick Which Could Help Women Beat Men at Board Games This Christmas. Now, it's actually from uh, last Christmas, but it's just as relevant this year. And this is by Sarah Napton, the science editor at the time of the Daily Telegraph. Women could improve their chances of winning board games this Christmas by playing rock music in the background, according to Imperial College and the Royal College of Music. A study showed that men became more distracted and made more errors, far more errors, if they were forced to listen to ACDC, bear in, uh, bear in mind the word forced, compared with classical music or none at all. Music was found to have no effect on women's performance, remember that, though they overall performed better than men at the game involved in the study and are generally thought to be better at multitasking. No proof in this article is shown of that. So I make no accusations, but I would, I would say this, the links there to Imperial College, Royal College of Music and ACDC show, uh, show absolutely no links to this, uh, this survey whatsoever. Anyway, she continues... Another explanation could be that rock music causes more auditory stress and there's a link there and I'll, I'm going to come back to that. A state triggered by loud or discordant music in men more than women. Really? Well, like I say, I'll come back to that in a moment. Dr. Daisy Fancourt, lead author of the research from the Centre for Performance Science at Imperial, said although this study was all performed in our spare time, it is part of our wide research into the effects of music on performance. Uh, going down a little, this stu study suggests that for men who are operating or playing a board game, rock music may be a bad idea. By the way, if I slur a little in this, it's because I'm, uh, I'm well into my second bottle of wine at this moment. In research, the team asked 352 visitors at the Imperial Festival, an annual celebration of the science that takes place at Imperial College to play the game Operation. This game involves removing various body parts from a pretend patient, Cavity Sam, whose nose flashes and buzzes if your tweezers touch the metal sides of the body. Researchers gave the volunteers headphones that played one of three tracks, so not exactly a tremendous choice there. A Dante from Sonata for two, uh, for two pianos by Mozart, Thunderstruck by ACDC, or the sound of an operating theatre. Bear in mind, it said forced, so they don't get much of a choice here, if any at all. The team then timed them how long it took to the participants to remove three body parts, as well as tracking their mistakes. The results revealed that men who listened to ACDC were slower and made more mistakes. You don't say. Compared to men who listened to Mozart or the sound of an operating theatre. Now, they don't, they don't tell you how many women made mistakes or were slower here at all it's just men the scientists behind the study from imperial college london and the royal college of music say classical music may be the best op op uh, option for men when concentrating on a task music is reportedly played in up to 70 up to 72 percent of the time in op in an operating theater experts are, are divided on whether it has a beneficial effect Anyway, let's get back up to uh, the point I was going to make before. And that's the part of the article which says that rock music causes more auditory stress. Now, from what I've said so far, you'd think that the auditory stress that uh, is being experienced here is being experienced uh, predominantly, if not exclusively, by men. So I'm going to click on that link. And the link goes straight to another article published in the Daily Telegraph, written again by Sarah Napton, the science editor, or a science editor, only it was from a year previously, the title of which is Surgeons Placing Patients at Risk by Playing Music in Operating Theatres. Imperial College London found that nurses were five times more likely to have to ask surgeons to repeat instructions if music was playing. Now, we all know that the vast majority of nurses are women. This is my words now, not hers. And we all know that the vast majority of surgeons 
a man. So who's more likely to be distracted? I'll repeat it again. They found that nurses were five times more likely to have to ask surgeons to repeat instructions if music was playing. Anyway, I, I obviously haven't read the whole report and so naturally I, you know, I don't know that much about it other than what I've read in these two Telegraph reports. But I, is, is, am I being wrong? Is it, is it just me or, or I get the feeling that that first article was sort of misleading. Yet another article that was attacking men and giving women on advice on what to be superior, better again. I'll pin the article to, uh, in the comment section uh, to the top, but it seems to me that this all this shows to me is that women are the ones who are more disturbed by this music than the surgeons. Anyway, Happy New Year. Thank you.